Well, there it is, all painted and stuff. I don't have it in a position where you can see it very well. You can see, got the three bulkheads there. We'll see if we can get a shot through the inside. Here's kind of what it's going to look like. If that helps any. I haven't cleaned the glass, so after I drilled it, I got that stuff everywhere. But I painted the background black, and uh, I really like that fusion paint. These little inch nipples, I didn't paint. I didn't want no paint on them, so I just left them open or regular color. There you go. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to set it up and get some more. This is a 75 gallon. Here's a light. Yeah, you can see down in the overflow. The overflow pipes. And then this one here, this one's just wide open. It goes inch and a half all the way to the bulkhead. And this is the main overflow. Hopefully it'll never be used, so. Now I cut these weirs, or I call them weirs, on the diagonal so I could get more surface area per foot. They're about two and three quarters inch long, and then they're roughly almost eighth inch, a little less than eighth inch slice. Did that with the chop saw, that was interesting. I'm going to get back up here and see if we can see some more. I got it up. Oh, yeah, you can't really see too much. Up there. Look in there. You can kind of see the level, how that's going to line up. Look at it here. I don't have very good light in here, so... Of course, this phone doesn't take very good video. This longest weir will be this one, and the middle one will take most of the flow. So I made the overflow a little shorter, kind of split the difference. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's... I didn't want to have to do a, a glass weir on the inside to do a coast to coast. and This is what I came up with. So... Alright. I'll get some more video after I get this all set up a little better. Thanks. Bye.